Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Let's check if you know the Bible today. This is Black on Bible. <laughs> Apology, it seems to be right here. So, apologies <laughs> on behalf of uh, my dear colleague, uh, research partner and life partner, Dr. Nicolina, who was unable to join us due to some other commitments. My name is Marco. I had flu over, severe flu over the last two days. The level of flu is quite visible from the fact that I mistyped my very own affiliation. <laughs> <laughs> so I put School of Global Business instead of School of Global Management. Please ignore <laughs> and please rest assured that there are no mistakes and typos in the more important part of presentation. <laughs> so what we tried to find tried to find out what specifically happens in the United Arab Emirates when we are talking about importance of trust for relationship, for building relationship between influencer and poor. And also, we tried to identify, are there any region-specific factors, country-specific factors, having in mind a bit specific context of the Middle East, so are there any differences in comparison with some other studies and findings that took place in uh, other regions and countries? So first of all, let's see how it looks like on the global scale. When it comes to Instagram, so I'd say this is 2018. Size of bubble is monthly active users. You can see engagement and trust score. So Instagram is not overly trustful not overly engaging, but still the most popular when it comes to influencer marketing and pitches. So what do those Instagram influencers really do? There is one term introduced in 2015, it is Instafamous. It was a matter of research in uh, different literature sources, and those are people who actually created and built their reputation and popularity through Instagram, using Instagram as core, core channel for this. So, academic research still limited, of course we did not reinvent the wheel, saying a limited number of studies explore trust in the context, context of the relationship as we described, and in the UAE there are no country-specific researches over that. So this is why we decided to go ahead with the research. First question for us, who are influencers by perception of those who are into service? How do the users behave? Do Instagram <coughs> users trust influencers? What is the level of trust? So not only yes, but also level of trust. And does the report trust impact influencer follow relationship. So 345 is the initial sample we took in. Unfortunately, we did not find any statistically significant differences between different groups involved, male, female, uh, younger, older. So we found out that in the future, because we want to continue this exploratory study prior to submitting it for final publication, we would try to identify if there are statistically significant differences between local population, UAE nationals, and expatriate population, which is majority of the UAE. More than 85% of total population of UAE are expatriates. Therefore, it might be quite interesting to know if there are differences between those two. So this is sample structure, 32% only males, 68% females. Again, we will try to make extra push on the male side, not to miss if we will manage that. <laughs> when it comes to age structure, 18 to 24, approximately one third, 47.41%, 25 to 34, and 21.5%, 30 plus, 35 plus. First phenomenon, we have seen that more than 35% of respondents actually visit Instagram profiles of the others on daily basis, on regular basis, more than once per day. But at the same time, 
when it comes to posting content on Instagram, 52.5% actually is posting less than once per week. So the next log logical question, what are people doing? 29% entertaining, having fun. 25% interacting with friends. This is possible explanation why you have so high percentage of not so frequent publishers who are at the same time frequently visiting profiles of the others. So who are scale was one to five, just for quality? Tablet deviations are around 1.1, 1. 1, 1. from 1.1 1. 1 to 1.3, so we can consider these results as relatively okay. Celebrities are perceived as the biggest influencers, followed by 80 travel bloggers famous only on Instagram. So Insta famous travel bloggers are there. When it comes to model for the others, you have again celebrities with the highest figure. But also you see members of ruling family having quite reasonable scale, and you have business people inside. Now, who can influence people's opinions? 392 is for celebrities. You can see that all categories have relatively high rank here. And now, who can influence lifestyle and trends? By far the highest, fashion professionals, famous only on Instagram, and celebrities. Please try to remember this slide and look at the next one. <coughs> now we are coming to trust. So we have, let me go back, 413 here for fashionistas. And here we have 2.2. So conclusion colloquially said is, yes, we know that your content is fake. Yes, we know this is not your real life, but at the same time you influence us. And you influence our lifestyle and trends. This is definitely something what is worth of further examination, maybe even through multidisciplinary teams or cross-regional studies. Who you trust? Again, look at this ruling families on the top. This is very specific. I'm not convinced that high level of trust will be there if we do surveying of politicians, Instagram <laughs> accounts in Europe. But in UAE it is very specific. At the same time, fashionistas, very low, 2.4 only. Going back to this. <laughs> Look now. 75% in total believes that it is easier to build the trust with the followers. In, if influencer interacts and communicates with them. This is completely in line with this file. Member of ruling family normally has one-sided communication on Instagram, posting things from their everyday activities. Whereas fashion professional present only on Instagram has to nurture its army of followers and has to validate its competencies, uh, its quality, its commitment to interaction with the followers. So this is possible explanation that needs to be further explored where this phenomenon comes from. So let me go quickly to the three major groups of opinion leaders we identify. Celebrities, no doubt, as everywhere in the world. Insta famous, as just described, and specifically for UAE country leadership. At the same time, trust in the country leadership on Instagram is highest. Celebrities and Insta famous are most influential for opinion, lifestyle, and trends. Of course, interaction is perceived to be extremely important in building trust. Of course, it is indicated. Of course, it is preliminary. And of course, I will use our last minute of presentation to say that in the future, we will definitely focus to identify differences, local expatriate, to go a bit deeper, to dive a bit deeper into phenomena we have identified and touched now through this initial screen, and also to try to elaborate a bit further different factors that contributes to building relationships.
This is all I forgot to say. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>